solo travel. So many questions every time you set out to do something new. Am I going to be okay? Do I have all my belongings? Where's my boarding pass? Where do I have to go? It's not an easy job getting started sometimes. But at the end, there are just three words that come to mind. Life is beautiful. Hi guys! So this is officially my first day here in Bali and I'm at a place called D Mansion. There's like a huge board here which says the same. So the place is quite nice and I'm quite liking it at the moment but today's agenda is quite straightforward for me. I have to first go get a SIM which is super important because I want to be able to have access to data on the go. But the second thing that I need to do is get some food because I'm really hungry. The third thing that I need to do is get a converter, an electricity converter so that I can charge all my electricity equipment. Also before I leave I should I think give you a little room tour because I was just heading out. This is what my room looks like, that's a TV and please don't mind all the mess that I've already made and that there's also a little kitchenette here and a nice little toilet too attached to it so the room is pretty neat especially for one person not quite luxurious but we do have air conditioning this is the first Balinese dish that I'm eating I don't know the exact names yet because I've had a little tough time asking <laughs> but I think uh, here I have someone with me who will be able to tell me what this is what is the name? Nasi Bututu Nasi? Bututu Bututu okay so I'm eating Nasi Bututu right now work that I had for the day and now I'm leaving for Kuta. So I'm in an Uber right now and here's my Uber driver. Yeah. You can say hello. Hello. So he also hello. taught me a few words in local language. So how do you say thank you? Uh, terima kasih. Terima kasih. This place has car and bike for rent. So I was told that in Kuta there are a lot of bike rental options and I just came across one of the options right here. Rent a bike on the board. Not sure if you can see it behind me on the camera because the background is sort of faded. But I think that should be a good place for me to start renting a bike. It's going to be quite convenient for me to get started in Bali. Guys, so my time in Bali has officially begun because I just rented out a bike. And so got some money exchanged and did all the work that I was supposed to on first day of Bali. So here I am in front of Legion Beach and eating something which is a local dish called bakso. I think the best way of understanding a place is by eating local street food. So which is why when I saw the stall selling bakso, I was thrilled and immediately jumped at the opportunity of buying it. local time and if you guys are wondering what am I doing I am checking out of the place where I was staying at for the last one night today I'm heading out on an ultimate adventure and again if you're wondering why am I not heading out to the beaches in Bali right away it's because I wanted to do the most strenuous things at the beginning of my itinerary I am going to a place called Banyuwangi near Bali and from Banyuwangi I'm going to leave for a tour called the Aijin Crater tour so I have Newman here with me yes is it right? Yeah. So here's the plan for the day. I'm leaving from Din Pasar to Ubung bus terminal and from there taking a bus to Gili Manu. For getting to Ubung bus terminal, I've used the app called Gojek and somebody on a motorbike is going to come pick me up but the person who's coming to pick me up is a little away right now. So while I'm waiting here for my Gojek, I'll tell you a little something about Aijin. So Aijin became really popular after National Geographic mentioned how there's blue flames, electric blue flames that comes out of the crater which is why the trek up to Aijin is usually a night trek and throngs of tourists come here every year, every day just to go witness that phenomenon which is why I, even I'm heading out today out of Bali to uh, Banyuwa where the crater is originally located. <laughs> it is often said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Okay. Okay, yeah. Thank you. For me, the step was making up my mind to go to Aijin Crater Trek. The 
bus journey was so nice and beautiful because um, when you're living in Bali and you're staying mostly in the city, you do not get to see as much of the countryside. So I'm really happy that I took the bus and came here all the way because I actually saw rice fields and the shoreline. From Gili Manuk, I'll take a ferry to Banyuwangi. Oh wow! Where I'll stay for a night and begin a trek to Aijin Crater at midnight to witness blue flames from sulphur gas combustion. After a very long journey, I'm finally at my end destination. This place is called Camping. Camping? Camping Osin? Osin? Yes. Okay. And I'm just being shown my room. Wow, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah. So this is my room. Is it a shared room? Uh, it's a private room. Private room. The okay. bedroom is shared. Okay, thank you. Okay, it's evening time and I'm feeling a little hungry because as soon as I got back to my place of stay, I was so tired, I just crashed immediately. And now that I'm hungry, I've ventured out into Banyuwangi. Varum? Yeah. Uh, food? Pasu. Pasu? Okay, okay. Yeah? Are we? I'm here with Andy. Andy, how do you say thank you in Indonesian? How do you say thank you? Magasi. Magasi, okay. Thank you. Magasi. So guys, I have a really sad piece of information for all of you. The sun is almost rising, it's 5.30 a.m. local time and I was supposed to be at Kawa Aijin right now because I wanted to witness the sunrise after the really beautiful trek that I've heard of and I really wanted to visit. But unfortunately, a week back there was an eruption at the, at the volcano and the volcano has been closed ever since. Although before coming here, I did ask my host if it was open and he said yes for some reason. But apparently after getting here, I came to know. He informed me at night that it's closed and I couldn't leave for the trek. Otherwise, the plan was that I was going to take an Ojek all the way to the site. And yes, have a great time at the trek. But committed to memory guys. Today, together, we just saw the best sunrise. And you're going to see it right about now. So guys, that was all for my adventure here in Banyuwangi. Now I'm heading back to Bali all the way the same way I came. So I'll take a ferry first and then a bus and it's going to be quite a long way. But finally, when I reach Bali, I'll be staying in Kota at a luxurious hotel for a change. So guys, if you like this video along with me, make sure you like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time from Bali where we'll do all the fun stuff that people in Bali do. Bye bye. Sometimes all great adventures have an unpredictable end. But it is important to realize that at every point in life where you feel like you're at a crossroad, you have no idea what is waiting for you around the corner.